Welcome back, Controls Champions. I've got another installment of the PLC Programming Cookbook here for you. So today we're going to talk about a very simple concept that I think confuses a lot of people. I certainly found it confusing when I first started programming in Ladder Logic, and that topic is toggling. So today we're going to focus on toggling in Ladder Logic. Now, why is this important? When would we use this? The place I see it most is when we want to change a mode from, say, on or off, or auto and manual, two states. When we want to change a mode between two states with a push button. So that could be a physical push button with a real contact on it that sends a, you know electricity back to our PLC. Or it could be a push button on an HMI or some other kind of action that we're trying to capture as one shot rather than capture as, you know, being pressed for some length of time. So how would this work if we didn't have a specific function here in our ladder logic to capture a one shot? Well, when I click this button here, even if I click it as quickly as I can, it's going to be on for some number of milliseconds. And for most PLCs, that's plenty of time for it to scan through all of the code several times. And that means if we're just looking to see if this is on and then saying, if this is on, then change state, we're going to end up changing state several times, even in that really quick click that I'm making or that really quick you know, push with my finger on a physical button. So instead of looking to see whether that button is on, we're just going to capture the rising edge of that signal. And that's what I've done here. This P is for a positive, a rising edge. Some programming environments you'll see like an upper arrow. Sometimes you'll see an R for rising edge. Sometimes you won't even have a contact option like this. You'll have to use a regular contact like this one here. And then you'll have to put some sort of function after it to capture that rising edge. It might be called one shot or one shot rising or edge or something like that. By the way, I'm in Codasys right now. I will share this file with you. Check the description for a link. Codasys is free to download and that's why I chose this. I want you to be able to try it and play with it. And as always, I am working inside my virtual machine here in VMware Workstation. So after we get that rising edge detection and you know, this, this program scans from top to bottom over and over and over again. Very typical for a ladder logic program. The PLC, or in this case, the simulated PLC on my computer is going to scan this rung and then this rung. And then after five milliseconds or whatever it's scheduled to run again, it'll come back up and scan this rung and then this rung again. And it'll just keep doing that forever. That's important because we're talking about timing here. When I get this rising edge signal, when, when does that turn off again? Well, it turns off on the next scan through. So we're gonna come through here and once this button has been pressed, this will turn on. Button one shot, this is OS is my just, my uh, convention for saying it's one shot. That's gonna turn on and then we'll evaluate this rung. And then the next time we come around to look at the, the first rung again, this will not have changed on a rising edge. So this is gonna be false and it's gonna turn this off and then it will evaluate this rung again with button OS turned off. So with that idea in mind, let's, let's think about what we're doing here. I'm gonna click this button, there's gonna be a rising edge, and at that moment, when that rising edge happens, I would like to change the state of this light. Whatever the light is, I want it to be the other thing. And whenever it's not that moment when I'm clicking this, and maybe I clicked it and I'm holding it, or maybe I, I'm not pressing it at all. Either of those conditions, I want this light to stay whatever it is right now. And that's exactly what we've drawn here. Like I say, I think it's a little bit strange to think about, but that's how this works. So when, when we're not in that condition, that one shot exactly when I push the button, we're not in that condition, we want light to latch itself on. Whatever light is, it's going to stay being that. So if light's on, light's going to be on. If light is off, light's going to be off. In the alternate condition, so that was a normally closed contact, in the alternate condition, exactly at that moment when I press that button, and this is true, that's false, and this is true, then we want the light to be whatever it's not. So 
this uh, normally closed contact gives us that not condition. If the light is not on, then this contact is going to be true, and it's going to turn the light on. If the light is on, this contact will be false, and we'll turn the light off. So let's run that and see what it looks like. So I'm going to click this button, and I want you to watch this thing here. I'm going to click and hold the button just so you can see that that stays blue. That is true while I'm holding this button. And when I let go, that's false again. But you notice this line here was not blue for that whole time I was holding the button. That's because this is just detecting the rising edge, and the output of this contact is only true for that one scan, that one shot, we might call it. If I click the button again, notice things toggled, the light is off now. And again, I can click and hold. I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. I'm letting go. And I can click and hold again, holding, holding, holding. I'm letting go, and it's only working on that one shot. I hope that demonstration helps. Like I say, I found that confusing when I was first starting, and you're going to find a million and one places where you want this kind of function. Uh, so definitely keep this in your pocket for your next real project. And as always, if you've got questions, you've got other things you want to see me demonstrate, please leave leave comments. Let me know what you think. I, I want this to be helpful. So uh, the more feedback you guys can give me, the more helpful I can be. And I will put a link in the description to where you can download this file to play with it yourself. Have fun. Thanks, John. The weather is beautiful here at Brain Machine. Looking at the map, we can see a massive subscriber front coming right through here with a high chance of likes and shares. And I would bet you we'll see some comments in the near future as well. Don't miss the great weather. Click here to keep it coming. Back to you, John.